Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In previous video, we have created a web automation flow that extracts data from web pages and write it to Excel. Today, we will create a flow that downloads images, creating of folders, and that relate to timestamp. Let's create a robot that does the following. Go to Woodless and Tuas Checkpoint Traffic Cameras website. Download all the four images save each image according to view and timestamp and the naming convention of the file will be view the title followed by underscore and the timestamp okay so this timestamp is everything getting from this page so let's take a look so in this page we will need to extract the title date and time and the image so now the requirement state that we give a naming convention of the date the slash change it to dot whereas the this value is removed and also the am and pm okay so now the first thing what we will need to do is we use a launch new chrome And then I enter the URL and I maximize it. I click save. Now I will need to use the extract data from web page. Okay. And do not do not click save over here. Straight away open the browser until this highlight show up. Okay, so over here you right click extract element value and I extract the timestamp next I extract these images so these images I will actually extract based on the source which will give me the direct URL to this image okay then now the next thing is I will click on this extract value the second item it will automatically extract the remaining okay now once done let me bring this forward so it actually generate this column name i can rename this as title timestamp and image url click finish so once done i click save right so now we don't need to use the browser anymore we can actually close it so we use a close web browser let's save this first just in case and then now the next thing is we will need to create a folder right a folder on a desktop folder named dd maman year year so we need to get the current month date and year so over here we can use a get current date and time set a system time zone after that we will set a variable to give a specific naming convention so over here i want to create it as current date folder name what i need is the day followed by month followed by year and then i click save so this will give me without the slash or semicolon or whatsoever so after this I will use a special folder to get the desktop directory. So I rename this as desktop folder path. Okay. And then I want to give, I want to combine this current date folder plus the desktop folder path so that this will be my download directory folder. So I create another variable and call it as download folder path and then I will select my this desktop folder path and I add a slash together with the current date folder name and a slash. So now I click save. So let's take a look at what is the output of this 
we can actually take a look over here. So let me just run this flow. All right, so over here, if you take a look at current date folder name is this, and then download folder path. Right, it's so, so it's already in sync, correct? Now we save just in case. So now we want to check whether if the folder is exist, we don't create. If it's not exist, we will create. So we can use if folder exists, and then we change it as does not exist. We give the name as we give the full file path of this folder path. And then if it's not exist, we will use a create folder. In this case, we do not put the full directory folder path. Okay, we need the folder name only. So we create the folder into where? Into the desktop, right? Into the desktop, desktop folder path. Okay, and the new folder name is the current date folder name and then it's okay we don't need this after all click save and then now since we already have all the records here that was extracted right what we will do is we want to use a for each loop for each current item in data from web page i click save okay now i will need to get the value of the date because we want to change the the naming convention to dot uh, and remove the colon and also the am and pm right so this will involve in string or replace text okay so over here we will use a set variable We call this as item date and then we use current item. Put a square brackets in between, single quote in between, and the timestamp. So this is, is the column name and we click save. So now this variable will actually have the timestamp. So now we will do a replace text. So we replace the text. You want to replace the item date. Let me copy this. Item date, the text that I want to find is this. And ignore case, I replace it with full stop. Okay, and then the variable produce will still be the same item date. So I overwrite this data. And then likewise, I need to do the same because the next step. I need to replace this value to empty string, right? So to do an empty string, what you will need to do is put percentage, two times of single quote, and percentage again. Okay, after that, the next one, what you will need to do is replace the AM and PM. Let me copy and paste this two times. AM and then I ignore case. And PM. Alright, so now it's done. And then we will use this action called download from web. So this action is quite interesting. Uh, basically, you just enter the URL. The method, you can use get. If you want to take a look at this post, you can just click on this more info. There's a lot of uh, information available. Okay. And then I want to save to a disk or file. Then I want to specify the full path and the de destination 
file path so in this case let me get this url so this url i will basically use current item bracket image url okay and then the destination file path what i will do is since i don't have here right i want to create a variable so i use a set variable and i call it destination file path okay so over here what i will need to do is i use download directory folder path okay and then i combine it with current item which is the title and then underscore followed by item date and lastly of course we need the file extension for now i save it as png so i click save and then i indicate here the variable destination file path okay, now i click save so now let me close this and double check make sure my desktop don't have that folder okay i don't have anything all right so now let's run okay it's done so let's double check let me navigate to desktop as you can see here a date is created and all the four images is extracted as well so let me change this view to large see the naming convention is exactly the same that's all for this exercise so if you're keen to learn more do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on microsoft power automate desktop thank you